If there's two things Mario Kart is known for, it's one, amazing tracks, and two, amazing music. And I'll be talking about that today. I'm going to be counting down my top 15 favorite Mario Kart songs. Now, these are all specifically track themes, and I'm only including the eight mainline games. These songs are the most catchy to me. It's also one of the ones that were the most impactful, and the ones that had the best instrumentation. Number 15 is Mushroom Bridge, or Mushroom City. This is a track from Double Dash. Double Dash had a lot of catchy tunes, and this is one of them. You can really feel the hustle and bustle of the city with this song. Everything's so frantic and fast-paced, but it's also kind of chill. It feels like driving down a highway in early summer, and I really like it. Number 14 is Delfino Square. Delfino Square is a very peppy song, and I really like how happy it sounds as you're driving through the town of Delfino Plaza. You get to see all the trees by, as you go by the docks, and even drive on a drawbridge. It's a very happy and chirpy theme, and it does fit Dumb Isle Delfino very well. Number 13 is Music Park. Music Park incorporates many different musical instruments into the song. There are tambourines, pianos, jumping notes, xylophones, etc. They all help the melody stand out. And, of course, a track theme around music has to have good music, and that's what this track has. Number 12 is Cloud Top Cruise. Everybody talks about Cloud Top Cruise, mainly for two things. The first thing is the Gusty Garden Galaxy remix, which is fantastic, but that's only a small portion of the song. The other thing is the Thunder Cloud remix, which is a pretty much a heavy metal version of the theme. It's a very catchy and enjoyable theme, and for being the first of the Special Cup, it really does make you feel like you're soaring high and near, thousands of feet high in the clouds. And I really like it for that. Number 11 is Mute City. Now, I've never played an F-Zero game, but I really like the F-Zero tracks in Mario Kart 8. You get to hear these really jazzy tunes as you go by, and it's one of the longest songs in the entire series, and I love it so much. It's very catchy, very fast-paced, and it really fits F-Zero as a whole. Number 10 is the Rainbow Road theme from Mario Kart 7. This is often considered the best Rainbow Road in the series, and all I have to disagree with that, the song is incredible. In this track, you drive um, past chumps on a moon, you have to go through tunnels, past right planets, outer space, and it's a very beautiful song, and you even get to hear N64 Rainbow Road, which is a real tearjerker. It is a very impactful feel, and it makes sense that it's three laps. Number 9 is Sunshine Airport. Sunshine Airport is one of Mario Kart's best tracks, and one thing that complements this is, um, is driving along past the airplanes as you get to hear this beautiful theme. It's insanely catchy, seriously. And when you're driving by a bunch of the, t um, a bunch of the planes, you can't help but come to this tune. It's very good. Number eight is the circuit theme from Mario Kart Double Dash. This is easily the best circuit theme in the entire series. It plays in Luigi, Mario, and Yoshi circuit. It feels very frantic and fast paced, and I feel it best fits Yoshi circuit. That track is so topsy-turvy and full of turns, and it's a very enjoyable ride, mainly thanks to this chirpy, whistling music. Number 7 is DK Jungle. DK Island Swing is one of, if not the most iconic Donkey Kong Country song, and to see it return in its jazzy glory in Mario Kart is really fantastic. Seeing all the bopping tiki heads as you pass by the Golden Temple, with some Fragoons, all from Donkey Kong Country Returns, it really fits, and I'm glad they brought it back in Mario Kart 8, because it was one of the best tracks and themes from 7. Number 6 is Mount Wario. Mario Kart 8 surely has some fantastic music, and this is my favorite track in the whole series. There are different parts of this track for the different parts of the music. First, you're driving on top of a snowy mountain, an icy slide, then you're going through a dam and a cave, then to a forest, and finally at the end when the music gets insanely crazy, and you're heading into the climax, when you're gliding down the mountain on a bunch of ski slopes. Very enjoyable, and it's easy to see why this track is so beloved, mainly thanks to its music. Number 5 is Coconut Mall, and here's another example to this statement. Coconut Mall is a meme song at this point, and while that has taken away from some of its charm, it's still really enjoyable, and it really does feel like a place you could go shopping at on Isle Delfino, just like Delfino Square. You gotta love that tune, though. It's insanely iconic, one of the most iconic songs in the series. Number 4 is Waluigi Stadium, or Wario Coliseum. Like I said, Double Nash really does have some catchy tunes, and this is one of them. As you trick through the stadium, making all your turns and half-pipes if you're playing the Wii, 
from jumping past all the different ramps and the crowd cheering. Really is a fantastic time, mainly thanks to this theme. It perfectly encapsulates what a stadium is all about. Number three is Rainbow Road from Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart 8 might not have had the best Rainbow Road, but it did have the best Rainbow Road tune, in my opinion. I really like the whole space station vibe. And this song gets really beautiful in the second half of it. It's a bit more catchy and a bit faster and not as emotional as Mario Kart 7's Rainbow Road, but I think that's kind of a good thing. It isn't as slow as that one is and as fantastic as that song is. I do prefer this one. It's very beautiful. Number two is Bowser Castle theme from Mario Kart Super Circuit. Super Circuit is definitely the most underrated Mario Kart game. The Bowser Castle tracks were really fun, mainly thanks to the music. It really did feel like something that fit Bowser all the way back in 2001. And the fact that they put all this on a GBA sound chip is just wow. Good job, Intelligent, St Intelligent Systems. And number one has got to be nothing other than Dolphin Shoals. This jazzy tune it plays when you're jumping past the dolphins and riding on top of a wavy eel. You're crashing through the rocks. And it just fits perfectly well for what a crazy, high-energy, frantic beach theme is all about. It's also known as the Mario Kart Wick theme. And it's just a fantastic song all around. Thank you for watching this video. I love Mario Kart, and its music is nostalgic and memorable to all of us.